Hey guys, this is Nora, and today I'm going to bring you a really fun DIY. So I'm going to try to mimic the uh, Hobby Lobby farmhouse uh, artwork that they have there. And I saw this plywood outside my house, and I thought, you know, this is perfect for a base for my farmhouse uh, artwork that I'm going to make. And I have previously bought some uh, artwork there at Hobby Lobby, and they're priced like around $40 depending on the size. And I know that sometimes you can get them half off, but you know, I think any DIY is pretty awesome when you can try to mimic, see if you can make one for yourself. And so right now my husband, he is um, helping me measure uh, the size that I want. I'm gonna need my frame. So he is basically the, the handyman in this, for this uh, DIY guys. I wouldn't know how to use any of these tools. He did tell, tell me that um, he was doing it the lazy way because he, he has his his uh, saw table and stuff like that. He says, I'm just doing it the lazy way, guys. So you see him using the floor it's because um, he didn't really want to get all his equipment out for this small DIY. And now he's using the little staple gun. Or it's not a staple gun, this small um, gun. I'm not even sure what it is, guys. Bostage. It has small little nails on it. And we were out of wood glue. So we're using regular Elmer, Elmer's glue and it works fine because um, my, one of my sons did a science project and we tested different types of glues and actually Elmer's glue is the one that outlasted was um, even wood glue. There he's stapling the sides and there we go guys now he's gonna work on the plywood i believe this he said that was one eighth side thin plywood it's really thin and it won't be very heavy on the walls and again he's using the floor really quickly it was it was it wasn't hard at all and now he's putting it onto the the frame And again, he's using this uh, nail gun to nail uh, the frame with the board. And I'm taping the, the edges because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stain the frame. I really could have done this um, beforehand, but I was kinda rushing my husband to do this, so. Um, so I, I suggest that if you are going to do this, maybe try staining your frame before you even um, put it together. And there you have it. Now I'm going to use this classic gray stain that I used before. I'm using my butter knife here. As you apply it, it looks really great, but the trick is to when you wipe it off, it starts getting a little wood color mixed in with the, the stain. And here I am wiping down the stain using an old uh, kitchen towel. And I did go over a few pieces that needed to be restained. And there you have it. Perfect farmhouse look, guys. Now I'm just simply going to take off the blue tape to get my the base ready for some white paint.
this was probably the hardest part of this uh, DIY guys because I was I did not tape the the frame with tape and I probably should have done that so the, I was really hard trying to stick to just the board and not get the edges stain white but I was able to go back with a little towel or my little my fingernail and kind of scrape the white parts off and there you have it beautiful frame ready to be worked on I do apologize for the nailing my husband is working on our add-on sorry guys for that so now I went on to thefont.com and I chose this font and I thought it would be perfect and I chose one of my favorite songs by Casting Crown the song is called Who Am I and I'm using part of the lyrics the first lyrics of the song I think those lyrics are probably my favorite And now I'm cutting the strip and I'm going to prepare it to, I'm kind of going to mess around with it a bit to see how I want to add it. So I am working it into the, the board and I think this is what I want. Now I bought this um, carbon paper at Amazon.com and I'm going to use this to transfer over the letters onto my board. I just place the carbon paper on top and then I'm going to place that are letters on top of that carbon paper and get it ready to be traced. And now I just got a pencil and I am tracing over the letters. This was really hard as well guys, but it's very tedious. But uh, overall I am happy that I took my time to do this part because you really want to have your letters come out neatly. As you can see, I'm working myself really slow making sure the paper didn't chip. And there you go, it's very light, but you can see. I know it, there was some smudges, but I was able to take that off with some white paint or with water. So now using the Sharpie, I'm gonna go ahead and trace the letters. long process guys but it's always fun when you get to say that you made your own uh, artwork and I think this would look great in my new add-on now I have some Vals Valspar black chalkboard paint in my house and I'm using a wet and wild um, eyeshadow brush guys I didn't have any brushes and I was kind of um, in a rush to hurry it up and didn't want to wait for the next day so I'm using this brush and it actually worked really well It has a double end uh, type of brush, one is more of a thinner brush and then the other one's more a uh, fluffy brush. So I use a thinner side, that one worked better to keep, to stay in the lines. So this is my first coat guys. And this is the second coat. third coat and final coat. And now using the white paint and another brush, I'm going in with the <clears throat> and, cl and cleaning up all the little stains uh, left behind. And also putting uh, the white paint on the E's and O's that I kind of went over with the paint. And voila, here you have it guys. It's not perfect. There are things probably that I would change, but overall I am pleased. So I'm. thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this is something that 
uh, was helpful and that you would like to do for yourself. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe, guys, for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.